Hi everybody, Sarah Anderson from Foster Wiki here. Now, would you like to earn £150,000 as a foster carer? Yes, I'm sure you would all love to do that. I was sent a, well, many, many foster carers um, got in touch with me last week to say that they'd seen an advert. It was an agency delivering a new project. And if you want to know the details of who that was, I can happily give you that if you message me. But they were offering £150,000 a year to be a foster carer um, and, you know, get in touch now. It was basically clickbait, obviously, but I'm not sure I think that's a good idea, but I will well, don't want to name and shame here. I know everyone's desperate to recruit, but really 150 k a year, that probably is going to attract the wrong people. So basically, what are all these programs offering these high amounts and saying brand new innovative program and you can do it too, etc. They're basically step down programs, all of them, and they're, they're all pretty much of a muchness. And I first saw this in 2016 in the Jimmy Johnson case versus Glasgow um, Council where, back, way back in 2016. So they basically what they do is they step down children from young people from... Um, residential settings back into foster care. Now, their argument is, which is in principle, sounds really good, that children are actually better off in family loving homes than they are in residential. I'd agree with that most of the time, but I will just say there are many children who also suit residential better. We can do that one another day, but I know my fostering colleagues will um, know that uh, that is that is a fact. So. Why? What's the other reason? I suspect the main reason that you will find for them uh, wanting the step down programs and paying foster carers more, it doesn't. It's difficult to do the maths. So, if you, for instance, have got a child in a residential, a young person in residential, it can cost from anywhere four thousand to ten thousand pounds a week. So you're looking at at least a quarter of a million a year for one young person in a residential home per annum. So, you know, you times that by a few and you can see the cost. And we are cost a fraction by comparison. However, a lot of people, a lot of children are in residential often because their needs are different. So the, the, the somebody did contact, a couple of carers actually contacted um, this company to see what this 150k was. And they, they admitted that you would have to have three of the at least three of these young people in your home at any one time to reach those exalted amounts. Now, um, why don't um, why don't why why is the need for these step downs? Why are children residential? Why aren't the experienced foster carers from around the UK stepping up to do this? And I'm one of them, you know, I specialise in teenagers for a long time. This is a really, really difficult job. And the young people are extremely traumatised. And through no fault of their own, their behaviours are often incredibly difficult to manage. They've often been involved in crime, maybe knife crime, maybe in gangs, maybe county lines. They might be involved in all sorts of things, you know, self-harming and they they might be fire setters. And also you'll find that they run away a lot. It's called absconding in the industry. We don't like it very much, but they run away. In our experience, especially when they're first with us, they don't run away from us. They're running to something. They're running to their friends or they're running to their families or they're sometimes in situations they're running to the gangs if they've been coerced into county lines and things like that. So very, very, very difficult. And it's not that we can't manage all of that. But the problem and the big problem around all of this, and this is the problem with getting brand new carers in who won't be nearly as experienced enough to deal with any of this, is that there isn't the support package around it. It's promised but never delivered. And even if it was delivered, it's still not a suitable thing for a brand new carer to do. It really isn't. And everybody knows that. So... Basically, if you're going to do a step down programme, you're also going to be in, you know, be very vulnerable to, you know, very extreme behaviours, maybe fire setting in the house, all sorts of very extreme things. And, uh, you know, the resilience you need for that and the, the perfect setting, you probably need two of you at home, there's all things like that. 
and not trust me. You would only manage one of these children at a time, these young people. And also it would only be fair to them. You only do one at a time. So 150K, no, not going to happen. Plus also really be careful of what you're getting into. And one of the biggest reasons that a lot of people don't do this and experienced carers don't do it. And one of the reasons we need to sort it out is the allegation system and how vulnerable we are to allegations, specifically when you've got a child with heightened trauma. So no 150 Ks for you, I'm afraid, but um, uh, we have approached the organisation and I think they've taken that advert down now. We can't find it anymore. So rightly so, there are other ways to recruit than, than financial clickbait like that. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.